QS World University ranking this university is ranked 256th in the world the 40 to 50% of the classes are in a very closed environment i don't think you'll face much of a problem in getting employed not just the university the city itself has a lot more to offer in the sports field let's start so this university was founded in 1821 this is a public university Moving ahead and talking about the university overview, the very first thing is the location. The location is in the Edinburgh, Scotland. Talking about the campus size, it's a huge campus of 380 acres. And I'm talking about the main campus, not just that, the university has five campuses in Scotland, Dubai, Malaysia and in Edinburgh as well. Moving ahead and talking about the total undergraduate enrollment in 2023, that is 7,185 students. And this is just for the undergraduate programs. That means the total number of students who enrolled for undergraduate programs are 7,185. Moving ahead and talking about the university's total student population, that is 30,000 students. And here also, students from a lot of countries come and study here. That means you will get to know about a lot of cultures, a very diversified environment you are going to feel here. Moving ahead and talking about the academic calendar. So it varies from for multiple courses, from various degrees and campuses and programs. It differs. Moving ahead and talking about the setting. So it has a very badge. Moving ahead and talking about the setting. So this university has a very urban setting. That means you are going to get a lot more, not just the academics. Moving ahead and talking about the university ranking, which is a very important factor before opting for a university. The major factor which most of the students see is how is the university ranking? So talking about the QS World University ranking, this university is ranked 256th in the world, 32nd in the UK and 5th in the Scotland, which is a very good number. Talking about the another ranking, which is the Times Higher Education, that is THE World University ranking. So this university is ranked 351 to 400 out of 1904 universities from 108 countries. 41st in the UK and 7th in the Scotland. Another one is the US News Best Global Universities and this university is ranked 479th in Geosciences which makes it a very attractive point for the students to study here from across the globe. Now, moving forward and talking about the key facts, which plays a major role. The first is the tuition fees of 2024 and 2025 is approximately 15,000 euros to 23,000 euros for the international undergraduate and postgraduate degrees. Obviously, for undergraduate degrees and postgraduate degrees, it may vary from 15,000 euros to 23,000 euros. Moving towards another factor is the acceptance rate. Now, what is acceptance rate? That means if you're applying in this university, there are 75% of the chances if your documents are ready, if everything is appropriate and perfect, there are 75% chances of you getting selected for this university. Moving ahead and talking about the student faculty ratio, that is 13 is to one. That means for 13 student, there's one faculty available, which I think is a very good option. Moving ahead and talking about classes with fewer than 20 students, it about, it's about 40% to 50% of the classes through, though this varies by pro patch. Moving ahead and talking about another factor is classes with fewer than 20 students, which is about 40 to 50% of the classes, though this varies by program. Now, what is classes with fewer than 20 students? That means there are 40 to 50% of the classes which has less than 20 students, which fosters a very conducive and a intimate environment for the students to communicate with the faculty and with each other as well. That means the student will have a better understanding of the subject if they have less than 20 students or in 40 to 50% of the class. That means they don't have large halls for the lectures like they have, but the 40 to 50% of the classes are in a very closed environment, which will help you to get a better understanding of the subject. 
Another factor is the academic programs. Obviously, what are the academic programs available in this university? I will tell you. For the undergraduate programs, you have multiple programs in business, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and fashion textiles. That means it gives you a very wide range of subjects to opt from. Moving ahead and talking about the postgraduate degrees. So they have MBA, MSc, and PhD programs for the postgraduates. Obviously, you can opt for various subjects. Talking about the, their research program, they have 65 research courses. That means you have a lot of things to explore. You can do the research, you can take the research programs from more than 35 research courses. Moving ahead and talking about the introductory academic program. So they have workshops for international students to learn more about the academic culture and what is expected of them in the classes. So these are the academic programs available from where you can opt which program you have to choose from. Moving ahead and talking about the campus life. Obviously, it's a very important factor because if you're going to study in a university, how is the campus life? It matters a lot. Talking about the accommodation, so there are on an batch. Talking about the accommodation, so there are on campus accommodation available at the Edinburgh and Scottish border campuses. So these two campuses has on campus accommodation available. Apart from that, they have cell catered rooms, mostly with ensuite bathrooms, which is a very good option because obviously, whenever a student uh, take accommodation, they obviously need these factors to be included in their accommodation. Not just that, they have opportunities to meet international students and make friends as well. That means you are not going to live there alone. You will very soon be uh, interacting with other students as well. Another is the clubs and society, which is an attractive point. They have a wide range of student clubs and societies to join. So not just the academics, if you are someone who is very much interested into extracurriculars, then this is a very good option for you because you will get a lot of clubs, a lot of societies to join with apart from your academics as well now they have a lot of sporting activities as well they have diverse sporting opportunities team sports individual challenges and national events as well which is an, again a very attractive point not just that edinburgh is recognized as a premier sporting destination that means not just the university the city itself has a lot more to offer in the sports field okay now, moving ahead and talking about the admission criteria, obviously, another important factor, because if you're going to take admission in a certain university, this factor plays a very major role. Talking about the English language proficiency, so the international students must demonstrate English language proficiency, obviously, and the required test course, I'll tell you very soon for the IELTS, they need six grades for undergraduate and 6.5 or obviously higher for postgraduate. Talking about the PTE academic, they need 65 for the undergraduate or obviously 68 or higher for the undergraduate. This is a very notable point. If you want, you can note it down also. Another factor is the TOEFL IBT. Don't Another one is the TOEFL IBT. For this, they need 79 or higher for the undergraduate and 85 or higher for the postgraduate. Now, another one is the academic qualification. Obviously, the uh, student must hold a relevant degree from a recognized student uh, batch. Now, obviously, another major and a very basic factor is the academic qualification that the student must hold a relevant degree from a recognized institution. Another one is the program specific requirement. Now, now this requirement is varies from various programs. So this is an additional requirement and this may apply to certain programs only, not all. Moving ahead and talking about the cost and the financial aid. The very first is the tuition fees. It varies obviously by program. Now talking about the BA, BSc and the MA honors degree, the tuition fee for 2024 is 9,250 euros per year. Moving ahead and talking about the visiting students, it's 9,000 euros per semester for the Edinburgh and border campuses. Moving ahead and talking about the living expenses, which is a very major factor. The estimated cost is around 8,500 per academic year. That means you have to spend 8,500 euros per academic year to live here, accommodate here. Talking about the financial aid, there are certain scholarships and bursaries offered by the Harriet Watt University, which will help you 
in studying here, obviously, and which is a very major attractive point as well. Now, another factor is additional support which may be available from the UK government and that is based on the eligibility. Another one is the early bird waiver. This is eligible for the students who are paying their first semester fees before the deadline. Not just that, there are student loans available as well. The student loans available for the tuition fees through the Harriet Watch University. So they will also let you available the student loan as well. Apart from that, the fee status inquiry form. This is for the international students. That means they... <coughs> batch. Not just that, another factor is fee status inquiry form. That means the international students can assess their fee status by completing the fee status inquiry form. Moving ahead and talking about the very in interesting factor that is the scholarships. So talking about the very first scholarship that is the merit scholarship, they are partial fee reduction for the first year of study. That means if your merit is good, you can get a partial fee reduction for the very first year, which is available for the international fee paying students. Another one is Harriet Watt Aquatorial Scholarship for Academic Excellence that is applicable for various management programs and the benefit is 20% tuition fee reduction. That means if you got, uh, if you're performing really well in few management programs, you can get this benefit. Moving ahead and talking about the part-time fee grant scheme. So this provides fee support for eligible part-time undergraduate students. The ones who are doing a part-time undergraduate degree from Harriet Watt can get this part-time fee grant scheme. Now, Moving ahead and talking about the post-graduation outcomes, which is very important, obviously, because when you are graduating from a certain college, certain university, what after that? That is a very major factor. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about the post-graduation outcome. Obviously, high employability, a very major factor, because if you are taking admission in a university, what will ha happen after that? What uh, placements you will get? What is the percentage of placement? That is a very important factor. So let's talk about that. So 84.2% of graduates in full-time employment and further study within 15 months. That means 84.2% of their graduates are in full-time employment this time. And if they are not in employment, then under patch. And if they are not in employment, then they are going for their further studies within 15 months. And this data is according to the 2023 Graduate Outcome Survey. Not just that, they are ranked first in Scotland and fourth in the UK for graduate employability. That means if you are doing graduation from here, you can get badge. Not just that, another factor is they are ranked first in Scotland and fourth in the UK for graduate employability. That means if you are a graduate of Harriet Watch University, I don't think you'll face much of a problem in getting employed. Talking on, another factor, they have various career-focused degrees as well. These are the programs designed with business and industry relevance. That means these programs are for your help to get better employment because you will get a gist of what you're going to face in the industry and business in the further time. Moving ahead and talking about the global industry connections. So, Extensive links, they give extensive links with businesses and industries worldwide. That means they will help you in connecting with the industry and the business as well. Now, moving up forward and talking about the next factor is the award-winning career services. They offer career advice, CV application, form assistance and interview practice, which is a very uh, crucial factor because not just the academics, they will help you get placed as well by helping in your CV, your job assistance, your interview practice as well. Because a lot of students face a major, major problem in preparing their CVs and preparing themselves for the interview. But you don't have to worry, Patch. But you don't have to worry because this university will help you with that. 
Moving ahead and talking about the access to the top employers, they will help you with that also. They will connect the students with the leading employers in the country. That means they will help you get placed in the top leading industry experts and the businesses as well. Now, another one is the internship and the work opportunities. Obviously, they will give you support for accessing internships, work experience and part-time employment during studies. That means if you're studying, you can still get a part-time employment. Moving forward, and obviously we came to a conclusion of this university. Why to choose this university? See, the very first factor is it attracts thousands of international students because of the factors. The one which I told very recently is the employability factor because a very major concern of a graduate is that whether uh, like whether you're going to get placed or not. So this university on a very major level ensures that you will get placed after your graduation. Another factor is progressive and quality teaching methods, which is obviously very important for your personal growth. Now, the last factor is the reputation for high employability, world-leading academics, and the scholarships for eligible students. These factors make this university a very good option for the international students. So that's it for today's videos. I hope you got a lot of insights of the Harriet Watch University. We will meet you in another video with another premium university and we'll tell you more about it. Thanks for watching us today.